victim. Someone who is harmed or hurt because of the actions of something or someone. A victim is typically someone who is a helpless target of an intentionally violent, malicious, or malevolent act. Typically someone who would have stopped it from happening if they could, but could not. And though no one asks to be a victim, and though no one wants to be a victim in life, because we live in a fallen world, it is possible to become one at some point for some reason. Some of us are victims of being lied to and lied on. Victims of scams, schemes, and deliberate deception. Victims of being over-promised but under-delivered. Victims of betrayal from so-called friends. Victims of gossip and the collusion of the in-crowd that makes us outcast. Victims of systems that were set up for the success of the few but not for you. But it's easy to identify the perpetrator, easy to point out the assailant when it's someone else who has offended you. But we don't often realize when we are our own worst enemy, when we are victims of our own actions or inaction, victims of our own decisions or indecision victims of our own ignorance, victims of our own insecurities that convince us we're not good enough, victims of our own comfort zones that paralyze us with fear, victims of lying to ourselves then believing our own deceit, victims of our own excuses that lead us to excuse ourselves for inexcusable behavior, victims of leaning onto our own understanding, victims of taking the way that seems right but leads only to death. But the day you get sick and tired of being a voluntary victim is the same day you go from victim to victor. The beginning of victorious living is the day you say, I'm not falling for it anymore. I will not succumb to it anymore. It will not take me captive anymore. I will not be entangled in that yoke of bondage again. I will not be complicit in my own destruction. I will not be an accomplice to my own demise. I will not be a cooperating victim. The Apostle Paul says in Ephesians 6, 11 to 14, put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything to stand, stand firm. God has not called us to be victims in life, but we are called to stand up and push back against the advances of the adversary of our souls. We are called to have the mentality that if the goal is to try to take me out, then you better think twice before taking me on because I am not alone even when I look alone. So be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid. Do not be dismayed for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Therefore, I will not go quietly, no, not without a fight, because God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. So I will not be an easy target, because I am not helpless, for I will lift up my eyes unto the hills, from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? He will help you win when you don't defeat yourself. He will help you be more than a conqueror when you don't conquer yourself. He will help you stand when you don't cause yourself to stumble. He will help you survive when you don't 
surrender. In whatever area you're being victimized in life, he will work all things together for your good. He will work it for your victory. So rise up from the ashes of self-pity and don't help the enemy hurt you. Have enough self-respect to not self-destruct. Don't give in to being taken out. Don't assist in your own assassination. Don't aid and abet your own annihilation. Don't execute your own execution. Don't help the thief load up your stuff, but put on the whole armor of God and be a problem for the problem. Be trouble to trouble. Get good at being a bother to the bad. Don't be a willing participant in your own downfall. Don't dig your own grave. And in the name of Jesus, don't be a cooperating victim.